Hello and welcome back to News 8 Now. I'm Steve Minnick. In court on Tuesday, Paris Police Chief Michael Madden pleaded not guilty to operating under the influence. Madden's lawyer entered the plea on his behalf. He was pulled over on November 21st in Naples and was summoned, issued a summons after allegedly failing a field sobriety test. His case has been moved to Cumberland County Court in Portland. A mess along the main turnpike in Gray on Tuesday afternoon. State police say this tractor trailer crash caused some minor traffic backups after it went off the northbound side. The truck driver lost control of the rig at about 1 or 12:30 in the afternoon. The driver had minor injuries and was taken to Maid Medical Center. The cause is still under investigation. Greg Nisbet, the owner of the Noyes Street apartment building in which six people died, may face violations for another property he owns that neighbor in that neighborhood in Portland. City officials inspected the building on Dartmouth Street back in December after receiving a complaint about the fire hazards. Uh, officials gave Nisbet until Tuesday to correct those hazards. Officials say they will determine if any enforcement actions are necessary. In Bucksport, the head of a Canadian metal recycler interested in purchasing the paper mill there says he is skeptical about three other companies also interested in buying and reopening the mill. And that skepticism will continue, he says, until an offer is made. The Canadian company AIM Development intends to buy the Verso paper mill in Bucksport, but has not announced its plans for the facility. Three companies, one from New York, Pennsylvania, and Mumbai, say they want to buy it. And thank you for joining us here on News 8 Now.